I'm about to install the uh, Pro 6 LED light bar from uh, KC. Uh, this has eight lights across the top. Pretty sweet. Anyways, what I'm going to do, this obviously mounts above the window frame on the Bronco. And we are going to uh, wire this into uh, auxiliary switch one. And uh, it comes with this big old harness, but honestly, you don't need about 95% of that. So what we're going to do is cut most of this off and wire it into the pre-run wire on top of the um, window frame. And then plug that into aux uh, auxiliary switch one and uh, the ground will also be above the window frame. So anyways, we're going to unbox this and uh, move on to the next step and uh, tape up the window. Uh, the next thing we're going to have to do is uh, take off these uh, accessory ready covers on both sides and we're going to use a 10 millimeter socket to uh, take off these caps on both sides. And um, after we do that, we're gonna tape up. You don't have to do this, but I'd recommend it so you don't scratch your paint. But uh, use some painter's tape and just tape this, this whole area about where my hand is covering because the brackets are gonna cover this. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna do that and move on to the next step. All right, I got our tape up here and I went ahead and put the uh, KC mounting bracket on here. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Anyways, uh, yeah, put that up there, do both sides, and uh, then I'm going to move on to the next part. All right, I got this, uh, the KC light bar unboxed here, laying in here. Um, one thing you're going to want to do is um, just loosen up this bolt on both sides. Don't, uh, don't take the nut off. You're just going to want to slide all the hardware down near the end. And then another thing you're going to want to do, because more than likely this is not going to fit up there exactly as planned, take a, a six millimeter um, hex key and a, a three, and you're going to want to loosen up this little tiny guy right here and this big guy on both sides. And that'll allow this piece to move back and forth. And when you're putting it up there, you're going to need the help of another person and uh, this will allow you to line up the slots pretty easy. So I'm gonna do that on both sides and then slide this into place and move on to uh, wiring. In order to remove the sun visor, you gotta pop this little thing down with a removal tool and there's a seven millimeter uh, socket you're gonna wanna use to do that. And then this little clip right here do that and uh, it'll disconnect the power and uh, as you can see this kind of hooks in place you pull it down so don't just rip it out but uh, do that and then uh, move on to the next step we'll be removing this panel right here and you'll get access to the wire that's already run in here on most packages of the Bronco you got the visor removed it looks like you got to remove this but you don't so don't worry about that you can pop this free and there's a tab up front just kind of pull down on it and you'll be able to kind of pull this down low enough and you'll be able to find the wire that you're going to tap into here so that is going to be your power source that'll run to the uh, firewall on the driver's side and then where i'm going to ground to if you look under here there's a wire i don't know if you can see it my finger's pointing to it but anyways 10 millimeter on top here and 10 millimeter down here might be easier with some help but what i'm going to do is just um, ground here and run the power here and then uh, underneath the uh, the glove box we'll uh, tap into that wire and then run it to our auxiliary one for running the wire you got a couple options you can drill through you wouldn't need to have done that before we put this bracket on here some people are doing that um, but it's almost like I decided to run through the um, weather stripping right here. You'll see there's a notch right here. It's almost like this is, they're telling you where to notch this. So, or poke through. So I just used a old uh, filed down screwdriver here and uh, a pick and poke through. And then I'm going to run the wire through here. And then over top of the second weather stripping here. And then I'm going to ground underneath here and connect my power wire and, and tuck this in here 
So once you put the uh, plastic cap back up here, it, you really won't see this this extra wire with um, the top down. Even with the top up, you might just this just this little bit will be visible. So I've been running that on mine for a little while now, and it hasn't bothered me. So this is just one option if you don't feel like drilling into your Bronco. So I'm gonna go ahead and ground that and wire it up and uh, move on. I got the wire run through here, grounded, power. Um, if you look, if you tuck this wire underneath here, you can uh, slap this cover back up into place and you will only be able to see it from up top. And we gotta zip tie this a little better, but as you can see, it's uh, through the wire uh, weather stripping on the front and uh, over top of the one on the back. But uh, hides out fairly nice. So anyways, move on to the next part. And that's uh, basically finishing up the wiring down below the, uh, the glove box. Now our hot wire up top was this uh, got gray and red wire here, or red and gray. And I'm gonna wire that into the uh, brown and white wire over here. So I'm gonna shrink wrap this, but um, all I'm gonna have to do from here is find the brown and uh, white wire um, on the firewall and connect that to the yellow wire which is um, auxiliary switch one which will give you the most uh, most power so anyways um, i will do that and then meet you under the hood all right i went ahead and connected these but here's the brown wire that we connected uh, underneath the glove box and then auxiliary switch one is this yellow wire um so i connected those two and uh, verified we uh, have some lights that are working up top and uh, the only other thing i have to do is fix the the bracket that is the very middle uh, yeah up top there's a bracket we got to put on to uh, support this and then i'm going to adjust this the angle of this and we'll be done all right here's the support bracket i was talking about just these uh, two bolts running through here you're gonna wanna try to pick up on this bar while you tighten these down. It's uh, basically a piece of rubber here. Tighten that down, make sure your angle's set, you know, eyeball it, but won't know till tonight. But anyways, yeah, do that. And uh, install is pretty much complete. I'm gonna get down and show you the front of the vehicle. And now we are done. Looks sharp. All right, this is Nick with MountainsToMetal.com. Just did the KC light bar install. As you can see, it looks pretty sweet. MountainsToMetal.com, I will have these for sale up there. So if you want, check it out. Hopefully this install video helped you.